Of the 19 chimpanzees in Neil's care, the oldest and wisest is Boris. Somebody once asked me, how did I know Boris was intelligent? Simple answer was just look into his eyes. Boris will be 50 in just a few days. He spent all but three of those years at Chester after being raised by humans in Manhattan. He was bought in a pet shop in 1966. The lady who bought him, her and her husband, fell in love with him and took him home. And for three years, they kept him as a pet in a flat in New York. With his human upbringing, a bit like children, they learn naughty things and remember them better. <laughs> 29-year-old Dylan replaced Boris as the dominant male of the group 11 years ago and asserts his authority using intimidation. Male chimps can be violent to each other and to the females. But unusually for chimps, Boris has a more gentlemanly approach to the opposite sex. Generally, I'd say Boris is fairly good with the females. He usually goes to defend them and protect them. He's got one or two females he quite likes, and he'll try and keep an eye out for them. He might get a few sexual favours in return. But I suppose that's his gentlemanly state has gone out the window, isn't it? <laughs> He may have ulterior motives, but Boris's protective nature could soon be put to the test. We are in the process of bringing a new female in from Germany, um, a bit of fresh blood. Chester's group are critically endangered Western chimpanzees. As part of the zoo's breeding program, they hope the new female will add diversity to their gene pool. She might provide a baby, or two. And it seems Boris is ready and able to act as sire. Male chimps, just like with humans, are, are fertile to the day they die. So there's every chance that Boris could be a father again. But chimpanzees are fiercely territorial, and not all will be as welcoming as Boris. It's potentially a very, very dangerous thing for a female to join another group. It can happen that they suddenly turn on her and kill her. <laughs>